All right, welcome to PTI. I'm your host, Brandon Lovelace. These are my two co-hosts, David Hill and Kings of Kimbrough. And today we're going to be talking about uh, the biggest competitors to the USA men's basketball team. So, who do you think is the okay. biggest competitor? First off, I say the biggest competitor to them, competitor to them, is obviously France. I mean, Canada gave them a good fight. Austria gave them a good fight. But overall, when you think about this France lineup, it's just so stacked in many different places. They have Batum. He's a veteran. He knows what he's doing. They just got a lot of big men who can score the basketball. They've got Wemby. In his latest game, he had 14, 10, and 3 shot. I mean, he didn't shoot well from the three-point range, but overall, 14 points is still a lot. That's the exact same amount Anthony Edwards dropped against Australia last game. They also have Rudy Gobert, and though he does not score the ball as well, his defense makes up for it. Multiple DPOIs. Yeah, DPOIs. He's just a great defensive player who can help them uh, stop the USA team and the big men, which is like what they usually use to score the most as uh, in their last game. Anthony Davis was their leading scorer. Right, true, you, true, Anthony Davis was their leading scorer, but the depth of talent on the USA roster could easily beat France. Sure, nobody can have the same height as Wimby, but the skill level for Team USA against Wimby's skill level, they could like easily wipe the floor with him. Sure, Rudy Gobert does have four DPOYs, but no, but he cannot guard Anthony Davis, Joel Embiid. He could possibly guard Bam Adebayo, but eventually he's going to try to have to guard like the likes of Kevin Durant, LeBron James, and more. But he cannot do that. He cannot play perimeter defense. He's going to play in the paint. Well, uh, saying, wait, Rudy Gobert is a paint guy. I'd say Wemby can guard outside of the paint. He's a tall guy. And now the one time I personally saw him get, like, absolutely fried was by Kyrie Irving. And almost everybody gets fried by Kyrie Irving. So that's not really much of a point. Plus, you have Evan Fournier and a uh, new guy, Gershon Yabuseli. Uh, he is a great player. Uh, I mean, he only hit two threes. He shot six, but it's not a horrible percentage. Basically, 33% from three-point range. He shot well. And uh, honestly, he also hit two free throws. He's scoring the ball well. And I feel like him plus actual NBA players to help give him some boosts and, like, mentor him, even though he's technically not in the league, but to, like, get France the gold or at least beat the USA, I feel like they could probably do it. True, Ever Fournier can shoot the ball really well, but he does not play defense. He cannot guard Anthony Edwards, Tyrese Halliburton, Steph Curry. Nobody can guard Steph Curry. It's going to be a problem for them with Steph Curry around the three-point line because the line is shorter than it is in the NBA. Steph Curry is going to have a great time playing for Team USA. Well, a stat that I saw in their latest game against Australia, I'm pretty sure Steph Curry shot one for six overall and shot one for six from three-point range. He shot nothing but threes and only hit one on six shots, scoring only like three points that entire game. Might mo might be more. I did not check his free throws. But overall, just from the field, no free throws included, he only had three points. That's not going to be enough because even if France doesn't contend against them, Serbia, as you s said, um, they have Nikola Jokic. They have Bogdan Bogdanovic, two very good NBA players. Bogdan is a three-point shooter for the Hawks. He's basically, he's like 6'6". He can shoot, and he got handles. Now, sometimes he'll take stupid shots, but sometimes they go in, and that's really basically what every shooter does sometimes. So it doesn't really matter. But Jokic is someone who really have to stop. Last game, this was actually against France. He dropped 20 points and 12 rebounds. Only one assist. But what are you going to do against someone like Jokic? He has three MVPs. That's the same amount as Moses Malone, Larry Bird, and Magic Johnson. And if he's in that conversation, what can you do to stop him? Sure, Steph Curry did go one for six. But he's still getting used to the rules because it's his first time playing for the national team. So he has to get, he has to get used to the foul limit, the three-point line, all that. But sure, Bogdan Bogdanovich is a shooter, right? But he, but taking dumb shots is not the smartest decision when you're trying to help the team. And guarding Anthony Edward, Devin Booker, he's not a defender. So he can't really play defense against our guards for Team USA. Okay. 
Well, another thing that I saw personally, in your first game against Canada, your lineup was a triple guard lineup. And that's uh, not really going to help y'all when you play a team tall like France or something. But uh, that's really all I have for today. All right. Well, that's the end of this episode of PTI. Again, I'm your host, Brandon Lovelace. These are my two co-hosts, David Hills and Kingston Kimbrough.